Hey everyone, this is Ryan. In today's video, we're going to take a look at masking data to the end user and they can decide when it should be visible to them using a view and hide icon. So when they select it, they'll be able to see the data and if they decide to hide it, they can simply select the icon again. So the first thing we want to do is add an icon to the right of the social security number. It's going to be a view and hide icon. So if we click the add symbol on the left nav, we can search for view. And then we can drag and drop this icon over here to the right. We could change the width and height of it to about 25 to 25 pixels around there so it's noticeable to the end user. So from here, we'll just shift it over. Uh, that position should be good since our, you know, the data in the social security number is not very long. And then from here, what we want to do is go to our, um, our screen here and we'll go to the on visible property. And from here, we're going to create a new variable. So we'll say update context and we'll say display social security number and we'll set it to false. So that's going to be our default value. Okay. So we're actually going to use this quite a bit in the future. So what we want to do here is with the icon, when it's on selected, what we're going to say is that if it's display social security, if it's true, what we're going to do is set it to false. Otherwise, we will set it to true. So that way they, the user can you know, every time they select, it'll just switch to the alternate value. So we're going to enter this as true. And then from here, what we can do is if we go to the icon itself, the icon property down here, we can say that if it's true, we will show the hide icon. And if it's false, we'll show the view icon. So if display social security number, we will show icon hide. Otherwise, we'll show icon view. So if we go back to our app and we just click on it, you'll see how the view and hide icons will now appear. So let's go back and let's actually update it so the text is masked when the, the view icon is appearing. So right now we're just showing the social security number based on the gallery item selected. So what we could do, it's pretty similar to what we did with the changing the icon or changing the on select property. If we, if the display social security number is, you know, set to true, we will display it. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll just show a masked version of it. Okay, so we'll follow the format of a masked uh, social security number and we'll close it down. So now if I, you can see that if I click on it, we will display it and hide it. So one thing to keep in mind though, is if I select another contact, you'll see that the unmasked version is displayed. So what we can actually do here is go to the on select property of our gallery. And what we could do here is we could say, you know, update the contacts and we'll set the display social security number to false. So Whenever you happen to switch between contacts, it will be hidden. So this is a very simple way to you know, hide sensitive data to users by default so that they have to make that decision to view it. Um, so it's really good for you know, keeping you know, third party eyes from seeing any sort of sensitive data that shouldn't. And it puts the power in the user to you know, display it when it's required. 